But allotropes are different forms of the same element, and we'll look at carbon as our element here. This is the first allotrope, it's graphite. It's made of sheets of carbon arranged in hexagonal pattern with a 120 degree bond angle. Now these are covalently bonded, very strong bonds uh, within the sheets, but between the sheets, between the sheets is van der Waal bonding, which is a weak sort of bonding. And so since the sheets are only weakly bonded together, they can easily be pushed apart. So this feels quite slippery. It's like a stack of papers that you can push over. Now electricity, as you can see there, oh, just destroyed those cupboards. Electricity can be passed through it because it contains freely moving charged particles. There's Yoda, and this is the second allotrope, which is diamond. Diamond is based on a tetrahedron. Every carbon has four strong bonds. Well, that's only part of the molecule here. Every carbon would have four strong bonds. 109 degrees, 109 and a half degrees bond angle, covalently bonded, but there's no freely moving charged particles. So electricity will be stopped, it won't go through. It looks like Yoda's stopping it, but it's actually the fact that there are no freely moving charged particles in diamond. The third allotrope is Buckminster fullerene, or fullerene, which is just 60 carbons in a football shape. I think I see them up there, see if I can release them. Now, C60 does have some delocalized electrons, so it does conduct a little bit, but not as well as graphite. I'm going to grab myself some buttons to fullery. Oh, it's too exciting. Too many balls. Run away, run away. Oh, that tyre. Got to avoid that. What a very dangerous situation. I didn't even have my safety goggles on. Oh, at least I'm safe now. I never play this map on Counter-Strike because someone always snipes me through this little door just there. So diamond, four strong bonds, it's an insulator tetrahedral arrangement. Graphite, layers separated by weak van der Waals and those delocalized electrons between the layers allow electricity to be conducted. And C60 is a fullerene made of pentagons and hexagons and that is a semiconductor.